Welcome, people. This is the brand new season of Stubbs. It's brand new. Brand spanking new. It is so new that we are here right now for the first time. For the first time in decades. Well, no, our new set. Dude. Oh, yeah, right. All right. It looks so, great. Hey, this is Stubbs. This isn't, you know, happy-go-lucky time. This is, <laughs> we're here to talk about a movie. Yes. So? Hey, Mike, what did we just see? We just saw Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Based on the really cool Brian Lee O'Malley graphic novel series. And it was starring Michael Sarah in the title role, but also... Allison Pill. Mark Webber. Johnny Simmons. Ellen Wong. Karen Culkin. Anna Kendrick. Aubrey Plaza. Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Satya Baba. Chris Evans. Mae Whitman. Brandon Routh. Jason Schwartzman. And Kaita and Shota Saitao. They were twins. They were twins. They are twins. Mm hmm What's that like? It's fun. Is it? Yeah. Do you guys share the goatee? No. Oh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Scott Pilgrim. The plot of the movie is as follows. Scott Pilgrim is a lovable loser in a Toronto-based punkish band called Sex Babam. He is 22 years old and dating a high schooler. Life could not get better. And then all of a sudden, beautiful messenger girl Ramona Flowers comes rollerblading in and takes his heart. Scott soon finds himself caught up in a story of intrigue as he has to fight her seven evil exes to win her heart. How many backs of DVD boxes do you read? <laughs> I actually read the graphic novel series before we saw the movie, and I was actually really I made looking. I two volumes in. Oh. The movie was so much better. Oh, the movie was great. Don't you get know me what? wrong. No, no, no. You know what the graphic novels couldn't do? Hmm. The universal logo. At the beginning. Yeah, there's like an 8 bit universal logo. The universal logo, logo <laughs> and theme done in an 8 bit style, and it is awesome. Yeah, and that. That's just. Beginning. That yeah, that sets the tone for what ends up being a total a geek fest. It's eight bit Nintendo we obsessed. We were just sitting there in the theaters. I was punching him and like geeking mm -hmm. out. He's telling me to stay away. <laughs> How did I get in his row? He purposely sits three in front of me. You know? Yeah, but it's all it's all video game oriented. It's all and anyone who grew up with a Nintendo and that's me and that's him and that's everyone we know. Did, well, it was absolutely fantastic. It had a certain punk rock sensibility to it that I really, really enjoyed. Anytime that you can mix the music with the geekiness, it just it just brings the funny, it brings the action. Now, it is one just thing that I, pop one art thing, writ large. One thing that I actually was kind of astonished by is I want the soundtrack. Oh, the soundtrack's I, amazing, yeah. I, I want the soundtrack, which is mm -hmm. they don't understand. Yeah. How, how amazing it is that I want a soundtrack. He hates music and anything cool, music. really. I, but how amazing is it that I believe Sex bob performed all their own stuff? And that was just fantastic. Amazing. All right, so let's talk about the thing that made this worthwhile. Edgar Wright. <laughs> Edgar Wright added so much class and nuance to something that really had no class but a lot of nuance. <laughs> It had a lot of class, come uh, on. Especially after seeing this movie. Didn't you like how, this is gonna become the Ferris Bueller for this generation, I think. This is gonna be the youth movie that everyone remembers See, the, as the whole point being about this amazing and funky it's not cool. Meant, and, you and I grew up with Ferris Bueller. Yeah. We had Ferris Bueller. Right. And here is these actors and characters playing our ages. Mm -hmm. Well, my age, not yours, Grandpa. I am very old, it's true. So, Edgar Wright crafted just this amazing, awesome, nuanced, epic tale. Geek fest. Adding so much more that the book could not. Amazing. Now, the fact that when the phone I've rung, read, I've it literally the, went ring. I've only read the first two volumes mm -hmm. of Scott Pilgrim, and uh, there was a lot of the text, you know, happening in the frame. Mm-hmm. Because the fact that they actually used art from the actual comics, too, was amazing. <laughs> to describe Ramona's past and what she went through th through each boyfriend. It was panels, animated panels. Yeah, from animated panels from the actual graphic novels. And uh, let's just talk about the cast, the acting. The cast was wonderful. Michael Sierra has played this role before. 
he kind of has, yeah. It is he, the role that Michael Sarah plays. He trademarked that whole awkward youth wit thing. But the way that he played determined Scott Pilgrim had more acting in it <laughs> than anything I've ever seen him in, including Rest of Development. It was actually an ensemble. It definitely was an ensemble piece because you had who stole the show for Ramona, you, you had knives. Who, who stole the show for you? Uh, who was the actor? And you can't say Jason Schwartzman for being Jason Schwartzman. Why can't I say Jason Schwartzman? That's how awesome was it that he's the villain in this movie, but he's a drummer in real life. So he does bring the rock. Um, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. I this is the first time I'd actually ever seen her in a role that was just awesome. <laughs> And, uh, okay, my favorite, uh, the Karen league. Hogan. Oh, as, as Wallace Wells. Oh, dude. Yeah. He was amazing. Uh, Definitely come a long way. He is the talented Culkin brother. Yes. Macaulay might have been the one that was cute and did all the movies when he was a kid. Karen's the one that can do it as an adult. Okay? He just could pull off mm -hmm. these subtle... Insults, jibes, yeah, and compassion <laughs> in the same sentence. Yeah, like he didn't. He would brush Scott off, but then you really got the sense that he cared about him. What really worked for me is the League of Exes. Right, Chris now, Evans League, is the, hilarious. The League of Exes. There's the three standout. You know, uh, well, four maybe. The Human Torch, <laughs> Superman. Okay, so Michael Sarah has to fight. The Human Torch slash Captain America. Yeah. Uh, He's going to rock his cap. You know it. Superman. Mm-hmm. And a waterbender. <laughs> okay. And for those of you that don't know, Mae Whitman was yeah, the Yeah, Mae Whitman and the, played Roxy Avatar in the movie, yeah. Now, for the X fights that kind of stole the show. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris Evans played this really exaggerated caricature of Hugh Jackman as a skater punk, and he had this deep gravelly voice, and then... <laughs> when he gets out of his trailer... <laughs> when he gets out of his trailer, it is the best use of just iconic music that I've ever mm -hmm. seen. I can't describe it because I don't want to. I want you <laughs> to go see it. You need to see this, this, yes. This movie bears many, many repeat viewings. Hey, Mark. Uh, I noticed you got a haircut. Oh, yeah. I just, it was... Like shaggy? Yeah. You just shaved it off? You, you don't like it? Yeah. You don't like it? We should mention there's actually some nice lessons in there about when you're young and going through relationships. There's some nice messages about guarding your heart and being good to people. And I hope that people catch on to those too. Well... We should probably let you guys go. Mm -hmm. This has been the first episode of the new season of Stubbs. I'm Mike. I'm Mark. And if you guys like us, make sure you check us out on the internets, which is what you're probably watching us on. Mm -hmm. Unless you're psychic. Check us out at at Dwightle underscore media. Thanks for there. And you can follow him at, at Stubbs guy. Mm -hmm. And I'm at Mike Carr. If you have any questions, comments, like just yelling at us, we'll take it all. <laughs> he might take a little bit longer to get back to you. Sorry. That it is possible, yeah. I'm usually off saving the world from uh, Galactus. Should we mention pop culture too? I was about to. Oh, well then do it. Yes. And we always we always want to thank our sponsor, popculturezoo.com, who our with, favorite website ever. Yes. Who without him and his support we would not be doing this after the year and a half that we have. Mm-hmm. You guys have a good day. Bye. Uh -huh.